Welcome back to Memento Nobis. I'm Game. And today, I have not... Have not one, but two YouTube's to unbox for you today. And I was, I'm pretty sure you can guess what is in these boxes here. Not only the Hourglass, but also the Duos. You can sign the U2s, which I'm going to be unboxing today. So, I'm going to start with this one today. I'm not entirely sure which one's in this, so we'll find out together. Two hours later. It's the hourglass, guys. Look at that hello image. Ah, I can't. I'm deceased, dying, cremated. So this is the box. It kind of got a little scuffed up there, but who cares? It's still pretty cool. Little swirl of the box. You guys can see everything. The top of the box, the bottom. Also, there's a little, apparently there's a little sticker here that says claim on YouTube, so which I'll have to scratch off later. Oh. So here's what it looks like. Spin for you. Also a quote right here. On the back, we also, we also have another quote that says here, what would you do if you only had a year left to live? Would you squander the time you were given? Or would you make every second count? Now this side, we see the skulls in our glass with the crossbones. Let's take this guy bad boy out the box. My life is in the hands of an idiot? No, 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 no. Two idiots. This is bigger than I expected, holy cow. So, obviously here we see the hourglass. We have Ethan up here, and Mark down here. But here's the cool part. If we spin this 180, we have the skulls on them. Which is actually really cool. Bottom obviously has the U2's stamp. The U2's thing, and the, and the cool part again, also, is here on the top, little, Black white swirl, typical moon is honest. Obviously we know what's in this one now. It's also gonna be the duos. Hi, sorry, G Fuel, caffeine. Not sponsored. I was fortunate enough to be able to purchase a good amount of merch. Again, if you'd like to see an unboxing of that too, let us know down in the comments. So here is the box. There's the front of it. And again, some little twirls. I'll see the top right here. Yeah. And you guys have seen these before I do. So, here's this side. Oh, I just looked at I just saw them. And here's a little quote on the back. So let's take this back here. Oh my god, I don't know why I did that. I'm stupid, not smart, ever. They might have tumbled out and had a little flip, typical of Ethan. Here he is, and his, the Honest in his black little suit. Again, these are like amazing little desk characters. And also now, here's Le Marca Prayer. Our good old king of Five Nights at Freddy's. Here's the bad. Look at these two, look at these little buddies. Look at them, so cute. And it's just, it's amazing to look at this, these guys, and this hourglass over here to my side, and think about the year that we had with them, and how last year would have been so rough if they weren't around. It was a reason to get up every day and to just have something to look forward to, and really just enjoy our time. But. I couldn't let the opportunity pass me by to get my Memento Mori of Unus Honest, which being these U2s and the merch. And Unus Honest affected a lot of people in many different ways, as 2020 was a rough year for a bunch of us, having, you know, the current state of the world in this pandemic, as well as it being a hard to people's mental health, including mine. 
and Unus Honest was kind of a source of relief and a thing to wake up to, to be excited about. And I feel like they didn't do it for anything like the fame or, hey, this is what we're gonna do. I honestly feel like they did this because they truly wanted to. I was fortunate enough to be able to afford these, but these aren't the memories of Unus Honest. The memories of Lewis Honest aren't even up here. They're always gonna be, memories don't live in the, the brain, they always live in the heart. And that's something that I learned a lot in 2019, 2020. And I just want you guys to remember the same. Until next time, keep in mind, we were there. Memento, no beast.